see the different blend modes provided in Adobe Premiere. So let's come to the first one which is normal. So normal is basically the default blending mode and it edits or paints each pixel to make the result color. So let us check the same in Premiere. So I have imported this footage in Premiere and if I click here and if I go to FX control the opacity when I expand this it says blend mode so by default it is normal so when I click here on this drop down there are plenty different kinds of opacity blend modes which are available here so let us check those one by one and by default this is the normal blend mode which is in normal uh, normal mode so I would like to create maybe a flat color by in premiere itself so what I would do is I would go to my project panel I would right click new item and I would say a color mat and it will be of the same size as my settings the sequence settings and uh, okay then it gives me a color picker tool one I would take it as maybe something as a blue kind of thing a blue a blue shade it is a flat color maybe blue matte the other I would like to take it as maybe something as uh, something in a reddish kind of tint red matte yeah, so these are my two mats red and blue so let us take this first so now you can see here it is overlapping with our track one so that was our normal mode now let's come to the next one which is dissolve it says the result color is a random replacement of the pixels with the base color or the blend color depending on the opacity at any pixel location so what it basically does it it randomly creates a pixelated kind of view of any flat image or any flat mat or any color placed above the layer so let us check that if I click here on dissolve so so now if you check here there is no effect it is same as normal so let us decrease its opacity value and then we can get the difference and it will get pixelated so right now if you can see this has been pixelated and it is creating a very pixel kind of view for us and it is basically randomly selecting that mat and it is creating those pixels so I'm just decreasing the opacity of these this is 0 this is 19 this is this can be any kind of effect if you want to create and you can then also decrease it you can also animate this now as we have checked the same with a red mat let us take this on the previous layer and let us disable this and take check the same with a uh, image this is a very good high definition image and I would select this to dissolve in order to get the difference so if I select this if you can notice this is again creating a random pixel pixelated image of our video layer 2 which is the sunrise the high definition image so I hope you are able to get the difference this is my 100% if I reduce this down to 30 or maybe 25 the layer beneath this is uh, visible but it is in pixelated format 
so yeah this was dissolve now let's check the next blending mode so our next blending mode is darken so let us first check what darken does I would just delete the opacity and make this to 100% back to its original value and let's come to darken darken basically looks at the color information in each channel and selects the base or blend color whichever is darker as the result color pixels lighter than the blend color are replaced and pixels darker than the blend color do not change so let us check this in our software I would make this to darken so the moment I click there if you can see the uh, the image or the pixels or the color values which were in maybe you can say around uh, in lighter version they have been darkened here and uh, the layer these portion these which are lighter here so it is automatically calculating the pixels the values which are lighter and it is getting obsolete and it is getting obsoleted and the layer beneath it is been revealed and it is leaving the darker pixels or the darker color values and those are not getting uh, you can say these are not getting vanished as it is applying to the overall image let's see the same with our red mat let's disable this and uh, let's enable this and i would say it to 100 percent by making this as darken so this is again a flat color so this is this is overall affecting the same and it is very linear i would again get back to this image or i may get some different image in order i have recently imported this footage so if you see this this is a kind of motion graphics and uh, what if i import this and make this to darken i do not want this and suppose if i make this to darken So what it is doing is it is making the video more darker and it is eliminating the portions from the video which are lighter. So yeah this was our darken, darken blend mode. Let us come back to the next blend mode which is multiply. What if I click multiply now? So what multiply has done is the multiply color blend mode looks at the color information in each channel and it multiplies the base color by the blend color. The result color is always a darker color and by multiplying any color with black produces black, multiplying any color with white leaves the color unchanged. If we see this, it is providing much darker color and it is a uh, very the footage has the final result of the footage is darkened so let us again disable this and enable this and make this to multiply so you cannot get the effect here as it is a flat very flat image we would do the same here on multiply and if you can see here this is again a different mode multiply and it is creating a very darker image let us import another lighter image in order to get the difference of multiply what i would do is i would import this swans footage which we had seen earlier i would only import the video and uh, if i go to swans and if i click here on uh, multiply so you can see the image which is lighter so this portion this area was lighter this was darker so the darker effect darker area is not getting affected much as it is only affecting the lighter area and the layer beneath this which is my first footage this footage is getting revealed 
so on the lighter areas the my character my the below layer is getting revealed this can again be a nice effect while you are editing any kind of video or making any montages or anything kind of thing it is you can say it can it is also acting as a mask a very a very basic one because the it is revealing this beneath layer so this was our multiply mode